In case you hadn't noticed, online communities are super hot right now. With Alex Hermosi investing and now heavily promoting school, a lot of online coaches and course creators are looking to grow a business by starting a membership community. So I'm gonna give you a very simple and strategic way to get started with the community model. So in this video, I wanna walk you through my brand new Go High Level Snapshot for community owners. This snapshot is gonna be the fastest and easiest way to get your community set up and actually making you money. And if you'd like to get your hands on this high level community snapshot that's built specifically for coaches and course creators who want a high highly engaged community that helps them generate leads, appointments, and sales, but you don't have the time or the desire to build it yourself, then click the link in the description to grab your copy right now. My name is Ron Medlin and I help coaches accelerate the process of creating, launching, and scaling their high ticket offers. And in every single one of these videos, it's my goal to give you at least one actionable step that you can take right now to help you to build your dream business. Now, let's head over to the computer and let me walk you through the high level community snapshot. All right, so let's talk about how this go high level snapshot for community owners is going to help help you to get more coaching clients so first of all we've got our traffic sources right so we're driving traffic from facebook youtube facebook ads wherever you're driving traffic from getting people into the community once they join the community they're going to go into a nurture sequence automatically and that nurture sequence is just meant to specifically drive them back to the start here module we'll show you all of this stuff in a second to consume that content this is where we kind of give them an overview of the community where give them a tour around show them how they can get the most out of the community uh, and then just start to get them engaged in the community then once they finish the start here module that will unlock the there's a survey at the end of the start here module that will unlock the module one master class we'll talk about all these courses here in a second and it will also put them into the nurture sequence for module one so once they go into this nurture sequence they leave the start here nurture sequence and this drives them back to module one to consume that content because we know a big problem with all giving away free courses is that people just don't consume the content so this is how we to help you to fix that and then once they consume all of module one they finish that module there's another survey that helps that once they fill it out unlocks module two moves them from module one nurture, nurture sequence to module two nurture sequence which drives them back into the community to consume module two see that continues until they finish all the modules in module four so if they don't book a call from these in each of these modules you should have links to book a call book a discovery call or if you sell a product to purchase that product okay so also these nurture sequences have a ps should have a ps to book a discovery call so we're basically moving people through this process kind of nudging them along and we can track them through this process so that we know who, who our hottest leads are so now Let's check out a demo community and I'll kind of show you how the uh, high level communities are actually structured so you can get an idea of the basic structure. So right here you've got the discussion tab. This is where all the community posts are located. So this is where all the discussion takes place. On the left hand side here you have your different channels or post categories so you can easily find the content and then you have groups so I'm assuming from what it looks like that you'll be able to join a bunch of different groups um, uh, multiple groups from your profile and just like with school you can kind of switch between those groups right here so that's a lot of my clients have been asking about that so that's super cool next to discussion you've got the learning center this is where you're going to house all of your courses we'll talk about that in just a second and then you've got members so this is where you can see all the people that are in your membership all the people that are in your community and you can also accept or decline requests to join the community and then finally you've got the leaderboard this is where you can kind of see the gamification features of high level uh, you can see the different levels and then you can see your membership rankings based on the points they've accumulated from engaging in the community now currently it's not possible to share this communities through the snapshot itself but if you want access to this demo community I'll drop a link in the description and when you request to join I'll also send you a step-by-step -step community checklist that basically is going to help you to set up all this stuff it's just basically copy and paste inside your own community within 10 minutes so this checklist is going to show you how to set up your community it's going to show you how to set up your categories give you some suggestions It'll show you how to optimize your settings. And then it will also give you three plug and play pin posts that you can go ahead and put the first pieces of content inside of your community and pin them to the top of the uh, actually the, the discussion area. And then we've got the community curriculum and the current 
the calendar tab. Okay, so this is this checklist will help you set all that up super easy. And so now let's go back to the community. Now let's head over to the uh, learning center and we're going to see, I'm going to show you what's included in this snapshot. So we've already loaded the snapshot with four courses or modules and also set up the free offer offers that you need to help you automate granting access to these courses. So that's already set up inside the snapshot for you. It's already connected to all the automations, all that kind of stuff. So you don't have to do that. Now the first course and offer is the start here module. And then that's followed by four sequential um, modules. And we've included these to be very, very strategic. Okay. So now you're probably asking, what do I actually put in these modules? Uh, well, why don't I just make it super easy for you and just tell you exactly what you're going to include in your courses to help enroll more clients into your coaching program. So, You'll get access um, also to the training that kind of teaches you our strategy behind this. So let's talk about what you're going to put inside of each of these modules. So in the training that comes with the snapshot, you'll learn our automated um, community funnel strategy. And so let me zoom in here. And basically, um, we show you how to create what's called a product roadmap, which is basically the outline of the steps in your coaching program. Um, of how you take them through your process to help them get their results. So this is an example of mine from a workshop series that we run called the AI Offer Launch Workshop or Offer Launch Accelerator. And these are the steps that we take our clients through to help them launch a brand new offer from zero to 10K in, uh, per month using our proprietary AI software tools. So in module one of the actual course uh, area, this is going to be essentially a Russell St Brunson style perfect webinar or masterclass that's going to walk your prospects through your product roadmap, your opportunity. This is the high level strategy of what it is and why it's important without going in too much into the tactical details. Um, it's meant to be kind of a way to sell your program. And this is a lot like a webinar funnel with the added benefit of being wrapped inside now a community where you can continue to nurture your leads and build your authority. So for the remaining modules, you're basically just going to create a similar training, but you're going to do it for each individual step in your process to continue to nurture those leads if they don't book a call from that first masterclass. So Again, we'll be, you're going to be subtly moving people through these different modules and you'll be able to track the consumption of your content until they book a call with you. So let's open up our content repurposing map here. And so basically what we teach our clients to do is we run these live, these trainings live first. And then we use a very structured live stream promotion process to help you not only uh, grow your audience and book calls, but you're sim simultaneously going to be creating the course material or your course curriculum that's going to help you to get acquire clients and scale your business. So, and by the way, the snapshot has email workflows to help you promote these live trainings to your list also. So do doing these trainings live first, again, is going to help you to grow your audience on social media and build your authority there. And then also you can book calls through that process as well. And then when you're done, you can basically chop that up, chop that recording up, and that becomes the lessons in your modules. Okay. So, and we know that getting people to consume your content especially when it's free is, is a major challenge. Uh, and people and the people that actually do consume the content, those are going to become your hottest leads. And these are kind of your action takers uh, and the ones that you should reach out to first. So if we go inside one of our courses here, this is module one to help you track the action takers. Each of the courses actually um, inside the each of the courses inside the learning center, except for the start here in module one, they all start out being locked. Okay. So when somebody comes in and goes through one of these courses, the last lesson is a survey funnel. So they're going to go to a survey that kind of looks like this. You can obviously change the branding and everything like that. And when they complete this survey, that now triggers these different workflows. Okay. And First of all, what these workflows do is they're going to, first of all, unlock the next module of the course. They're also going to move that lead from the previous email sequence into the new email sequence, the next email sequence 
that has one job and it's just driving them back into the community to engage in the community, but also to consume that content in that, that particular module. And then once they fill out the next survey, that's gonna unlock the next module and put them into the next nurture sequence. It's also going to try to book calls with those people. And then we can actually, again, track people as they go through this process. So once they fill out the uh, module one survey, they're gonna move to module two. Once they fill out that survey, they'll move to module three. And then that way you can actually uh, track the people that again, consume your content, or they're moving through your courses, and then you can be more proactive about who you're actually reaching out to and kind of conserving your energy and your focus to just really focusing in on those hot prospects. And again, this snapshot comes with everything included in our previous uh, coaching snapshot. And if you want to check that out, I'll drop a link to that in the description. Or you can click on the video that's going to pop up on the screen here in a second. And that's going to walk you through what's included in that in the rest of this part of the snapshot. And again, I'll drop all the links to the resources I mentioned in the description below this video. And don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe if you enjoyed the video. And thanks for watching.